viewer discretion is advised. What is up, you guys? Realistic Gaming here, and today we're gonna be reacting to some scary Peppa Pig videos. Since my uh, dead bar video kind of did blow up on uh, TikTok, those people were requesting that I check these out. And by the way, check out my TikTok. The link is down below in the description. All right, so let's begin with our first video: Peppa Pig horror. Oh man! <laughs> All right, get ready to ruin your childhood. <gasps> Okay, uh, so play. Peppa Big Horror Story by Red Sword Team. Alright. June 2006? Dude, that was like 14 years ago. Uh oh. It seems like Mummy Pig is in trouble. What is going on, Mummy Pig? Dude, Daddy Pig is chasing her with a knife. Don't do it, Daddy Pig! Come on, man! You're supposed to watch over the family, not kill the entire family. Uh-oh. So as we can hear, it did not end well for Mommy Pig. And we got Peppa Pig and George in their bedrooms. Yo! <laughs> oh my god. Uh-oh. What is going on? Be careful, Peppa Pig and George. Georgie Pig. Poor fetus, it must be very terrified, man. Dude, do not separate, stick together. Yo, they found Mummy Pig's head on the kitchen table. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, this is quite terrifying, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no! Daddy Pig is back. Oh my... Run, dude! Why is he just standing there? Oh! oh. <laughs> Yo! Peppa Pig just came in with the shock. Uh-oh, he's back! How is he not dead? You stupid! Oh! That had to. He's coming back? I'm legally blind! Dude, he doesn't even have a head anymore! Uh. What? That's Roger from American Dad! <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my god, so it was Roger the entire time instead of Daddy Pig. He was disguised the entire time as Daddy Pig killing everybody off. <laughs> what? That was just a crazy plot twist at the end. Oh man. All right, let's move on to oh, our second video. All right, so for this one, it's a parody with um, It the Clown, yeah, like Pennywise. So that should be crazy. And they're all by Mr. Lone Wolf. Wow, these four that we're gonna watch next. Lit party, Peppa. <laughs> Thanks, but we're almost out of uh, a. <laughs> what? I'll go and get the rest from the kitchen. <laughs> Dude, what is going on here? Okay, uh, where is the. Uh, has to be somewhere. Oh! Oh my god. Dude, did he pee on himself? Why is there a yellow puddle? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was creepy. Dude, his head! What happened to- Oh yeah, it had to be the clown. The clown ripped off his head. Well, it ripped off his head. <laughs> Dude, that thing is creepy. <laughs> run, Peppa, run! There goes poor Peppa. To his face. 30 minutes later. Okay, I think that's <laughs> far enough. Okay, so it seems like he can't get away from the clown. Seems to be trailing him wherever he goes. Oh! Dude, right behind you! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that did not sound like it ended well for Mr. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Dude, they were just partying, man, and then he, it came out of nowhere and slaughtered them all. 
Alright, so for our third one, it's called A Bloody Night. Alright, let's check this out. Peppa Pig A Bloody Night. <laughs> Why is there a van park <laughs> inside of their house? Oh, it sounds like somebody broke in. Hey, there goes Mummy Pig. What? Daddy Pig has gone crazy <laughs> once again. <laughs> Yo, why is it always that Mommy Pig dies first? <laughs> that is kind of messed up. Uh oh. Dude, is, did he just open the door to the room? Okay, then they off they go running away with the little piggy feet. No! We got Georgie Pig. Oh man, I was peppered by all oh, by themselves. Uh oh. Dude, run! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, that does not sound too good. LOL! <laughs> what the end? <laughs> Dude. These Peppa Pig's videos are something else, man. They're a little too crazy. A little more than what I expected they would be. <laughs> oh, man, right? Oh, so now we got an Annabelle one. All right, this should be awesome. And we're back to the pig's house. I'm gonna give Peppa's doll back to her. Peppa, I have a surprise for you. What is it? Open the box and you'll see. Do not open the box. Do not open the box. Hmm, wonder what this could be. Oh my god, it's my old doll. Yay, yeah, dude, that thing looks terrifying. Thanks so much, Daddy. I'm going to bed. You're welcome and good night, sweetie. Oh man. Dude, that thing looks terrifying. I'm so glad I had your back, Annie. Ah, uh, heck no, nah, man. I don't think we're allowed to do that, Annie. Dude, she's like, she's like doing a ritual or something. She's casting a spell. Annie, stop! You're hurting me. Dude, someone's all those demonic posters. Okay, yes, don't do anything. Just please stop. Uh oh. Oh, what does she want him to do? <gasps> oh, dude, why is there a yellow puddle? What the hell? I thought I told you. And he says she don't give a crap. Uh oh, what are you gonna do with that, dude? Don't. Okay, so now it seems like Annabelle possessed Peppa Pig. Oh, oh man, poor dude. That little clown guy is back. Things creepy looking. Where are you? Ha ha ha! I can smell you. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! <laughs> they just blasted Peppa Pig's head off. Mommy Pig to the rescue for the win. Uh oh. Who would you? Oh! Bruh! <laughs> she just. Killed the entire family. She used Peppa Pig as her puppet to kill the family and she finished up the job, man. <laughs> oh my god, yo, these videos are something else, man. Alright, we got one more. Well, he has plenty of more, but if you guys want me to do more, let me know in the comments below a part two to this video. So let's continue on to Friday the 13th. Hey. Okay, so now we got a different character, which is pretty cool. Oh, dude, they're lock and loaded. Seems like they were prepared for Friday the 13th to come. Look at this camper. Dude, Jason just popped out right there. Oh! Uh-oh. So, did I don't think he managed to kill off Jason. 
Oh my god. Dude, all he had was to pull the trigger. He goes camping right at the door. Oh! <laughs> Peppa just got smacked with the sledgehammer. Oh my god, Jason. What have you done? It's a massacre, man. Dude, this is insane. Oh no, poor Peppa's tied up. Man, and I thought Piggy was crazy. This is way more intense. What is that? A giant chunk of meat? Oh. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he just chopped a Peppa Pig with the chainsaw at the end. Yo, all these were pretty gory, man. I didn't know they were gonna be this gory. But I mean, it was pretty intense and crazy. Man, these were just something else. I did not expect them to be this crazy, man. Alright, you guys, what if you guys want me to do a part two? Because there is way plenty more of these. Or if you guys know of any other lost videos or EXE reactions let me know in the comments below so i can check them out well if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to slap the like button if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on and i will see you guys in the next one peppa pig is back to haunt you what is up you guys realistic gaming here and today we are back on mr lone wolf channel we're gonna be reacting to more of his peppa pig videos because it seems like most of you guys enjoyed the video and some of you guys didn't <laughs> But overall, the video did good, so we're back to uh, react to more of these. And if you guys get scared easily, just don't watch these videos because I don't want to feel bad about you guys commenting that you're scared and whatever and all that stuff. So please don't watch these videos if you get scared easily. And make sure to drop a yin in the comments. So yeah, let's begin with the first one. It's called The Conjuring 2 Peppa Pig Parody, Not For Kids. Oh, we're back. At oh, well, that's a way to start a video. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, Peppa. Run, Piggy, run. Oh my God, Mommy Pig is dead. <laughs> oh, wow. And The Conjuring is another movie, by the way. If you guys didn't know, it's a scary movie. George, where are you? Okay, so Peppa's looking for a George pig. Oh no, the painting is in the next room. <laughs> in those footsteps. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Okay, that looks creepy. Uh, you stupid painting. Yeah, I think it looks pretty horrific. I need to find George. Like, is that the nun? That's the nun, right? Kind of looks like the nun. George, you in there? Where is George at, bro? He's playing hide and seek. Oh my god, what in the world is that? Like a total different dimension in there. Why would you even go there, Peppa? Okay, that is the creepiest painting I've ever seen in my life. George? Dude, uh, yeah, I don't think that's George. I'm coming, George! It disappeared. Oh my god, what happened to this place? Yeah, I'm not too sure what happened here and why you're even in here. And why would George even be in here? Ah! Oh my god, okay, so she's being haunted by that. <laughs> and jump scare, of course. <laughs> oh no! Peppa Pig, she got her head cut off. Oh my god, that was pretty gory, man. <laughs> Dude, that jump scare just came out of nowhere, too. Alright, well, rest in peace to Peppa Pig. And it seems like the ghost will be having ham for tonight's dinner. <gasps> okay, so this one is called Five Nights at Freddy's. Peppa Pig Peter parody, not for kids. So this is like a FNAF version of Piggy. That's pretty cool. Peppa Pig here, I've battled Animal Jason, the clown zombies, and evil pig. But today we're battling FNAF. Some Chuck E. Cheese ripoff or whatever. Dude, he just called FNAF a Chuck E. Cheese ripoff. 
<laughs> the audacity, man. Hey, but it kind of is. But I mean, come on, it's FNAF. Okay, let's go. All right. Okay, door right there. Okay, so we're in FNAF 1, it seems like. Now I think we have a... What? Oh my god, <laughs> yo. <laughs> that is that is creepy. Okay, camp 2 we got, George. Camp 3 we got, Daddy Pig. Oh my god, they're all bloody. Hmm, this shit is weird. <laughs> Oh crap, she isn't there. Okay, wow, you seem like you're in trouble. Dude, everybody just disappeared. You better get ready to close them doors. Okay, the... Okay, so both uh, mom and daddy pig are together. Dude, okay, seems like George Pig is closing in. To sweep the kill. So I just gotta keep an eye on them. Even though I don't watch them, they get closer. Wait, she don't have buttons or lights? Oh my god, they are getting closer. It doesn't seem like it's gonna end very well for Peppa Pig. Oh my god. <laughs> they just took out- Oh! Oh hey? Before I die, just give me a sec. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna give you a second. Oh! Oh, <laughs> what? He just shot them. Notice determination. You're fired. Tampering with animatronics. General professionalism. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that was a turn of events. Um, it seemed it, it seemed like Peppa was about to die at the end, but she ended up pulling out a gun and killed off the pig animatronics. So this next one is a Dead Silence parody one, and Dead Silence is also a creepy movie, by the way. <laughs> Poor Peppa. Oh, I can't sleep. It's probably because it's uh, so freaking hot, dude. There's a shadow at the bottom left corner. Uh, who said that? Hello? How do you not see that, Peppa? I'm scared. No, no, it can't be. Dude, that is terrifying. That's just a doll I bought at a horror movie convention. I'm just gonna take it to the kitchen. Why would you buy this doll? Like, it's so freakishly looking, man. So creepy. I would not buy that thing. <laughs> it looks kind of creepy, man. Okay, oh! Well, that's a big hamburger. Should I eat the burger I saved? Uh-oh. What the hell was that? Okay, I'm starting to get scared. <laughs> Dude, that is one juicy burger. Mmm, cheeseburgers. I'm going to the living room. Oh my god, yo. It was right behind Peppa. <laughs> What's up with the face, though? <laughs> Why is his mouth always open? Oh, not the lights again. Oh! Peppa, run for it! <coughs> Why aren't you running, Peppa? <coughs> Come on, stop with the cheap jump scares. Oh no, Peppa dead again. Once again, Peppa has died. Seems like Peppa seems to be getting killed off on the rest of these other parodies. Poor Peppa bad. She just can't catch a break. So for the next one, it's called The Intruder. Oh, not rated. <laughs> oh, we got some different characters up in here. Pretty cool. Chat, meet me in the parking lot? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so here they are right- Oh! Yo, that looks freaky, man. <laughs> oh my god, that was totally freaky. Okay, so here they go inside the parking lot. Little do they not know that freakishly weird pig thing wearing the pig mask is stalking them with the machete. Yeah. Doesn't seem like they're gonna survive this. Oh my god, bro, what's up with this? Yeah, they're totally dead, right? They gotta be. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, it was, it was just a nightmare. 
That was some kind of nightmare, some terribly uh, awful nightmare. Okay, it's not a nightmare anymore. <laughs> oh no. He just broke in. Yep. You are gonna die. Dude, why are they just laying in bed? They could have ran for it at least. They just stood there in shock and bad, did not move, and they died. That's what they get for now running away, man. Like, come on, the simple, you could just get up and run. We got another it one. These are always cool and creepy. It. Peppa, give me my boat. Oh, okay. Just remember to fall into a sewer and die. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not nice of you, Peppa. What is wrong with you? And off he goes, running off into a sewer, and hopefully he doesn't die. <laughs> oh, the balloon. George's balloon. Oh. And there goes the little boat going flowing down the river. Down the sewer. <laughs> Crap, my boat! Oh, this is not good. Damn, Georgie has been gone for a long time. Better go check on him. <laughs> oh no, there's blood. Georgie, where are you? Dude, Georgie is gone. Georgie's dead. Yeah, it's all your fault, Peppa. I'm getting my friends. One hour later. All right, guys, uh, th this is the house. Guys, I have a bad feeling. Danny, where should we go first? Oh, man's just got snatched. <laughs> Did the screams? Damn it, it's locked. Oh no, dude, Pennywise is snatching everybody left and right out here, man. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a pretty cool looking Pennywise. Run, Piggy, run! Oh, the balloon is chasing you, you're dead. Like a tracking device. It is like a tracking device, it's following her everywhere, a junkyard. Out of all the places, why would you run to a junkyard? I'm so tired. I see a building over there. Oh! Dude, it is behind you! Look behind you, Peppa! Oh no. Oh! And he snatched her. Oh man. And Peppa died on us once again. Well, rest in peace to Peppa, man. She's been dying way too many times on these an animations. Alright, and then we got a Walking Dead parody one. This should be cool. Some zombies in the mix. Wait, why is it lit on the trash? We should probably get going. Why? Because it's too dangerous out here. You don't say. I mean, there is zombies swarming around. Tell me if a zombie is following us. Dude, that's a plant versus zombies. Zombie. I heard something behind this wall. Maybe there's a sh maybe there's shelter. Yeah. What do you see? I see a shelter, but there are zombies guarding it. Hold up. I think they left. Okay, we're clear. Oh no. I bet you there's gonna be zombies in there. Oh! Okay, well, not quite, but they're dead bodies. Who gives a crap about them? Just grab the guns. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they are dead, so why not just grab the guns and get out of there? Okay, George, I take the zombies on the left. You take the ones on the right. Dude, that gun is bigger than George. How is he gonna shoot that? Oh, never mind. He got it. Hey, oh! Get that juggernaut, man. Why is there a box there? I knew it. It was a bamboozled attack by a zombie. <laughs> they just blew it up. That's Rambo Piggy right there for you guys. <laughs> oh no. Dude, he has a knife through his head. 
part two. Wait, that was it. Come on, man. That was pretty cool, though. It was short, but they were pretty cool, man. Let's try to get this video to uh, 20,000 views and maybe 500 likes. That would be awesome. And I will see you guys in the next one. Yeet! More! Make a part 3! Alright, well you guys asked for it and we are back with the part 3 of Peppa Pig.exe And if you guys get scared easily or have nightmares and whatnot, please don't watch these videos because a lot of you guys seem to get scared in the comments But I have warned you guys to not watch, they are pretty gruesome man And also part 1 and 2 did pretty good, let's see if we can get part 3 to like 5,000 likes, that would be awesome And we are back to Mr. Lone Wolf's channel as we can see here and the first one we're going to react to is called The Exorcist oh my god alright that sounds pretty terrifying <laughs> yes The Exorcist how do I play this? oh dude Peppa's messing with the Ouija board this is not good man are you there? I would never play with the Ouija board. Yes? Dude, it just moved on itself. Did it just move? Clearly it did, Peppa. <laughs> and they said yes. I'm just gonna go to bed. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna sleep tonight, Peppa. You are playing with the devil, man. You're playing the devil's game. Oh, it said no. I told you guys Peppa's not gonna get a good night's sleep. Oh, I'm like, what is that? But it was a video. <laughs> the knock is on. Who could that be at this hour? Oh, the lights went off. Oh, I thought the lights went off, but they did it. Jesus. Peppa, do not open this door. Oh, Peppa's in deep trouble. What the heck? No, no, no. I can't see anything. Dude, did you guys hear that whisper? Holy crap! <laughs> Yay! Is she out of there, man? I mean, I would run for my life too if the door opened and the lights went out. Oh man, some sketchy stuff is going on. Oh my god, who just grabbed me? Oh! It seems like Peppa just got the one two piece in the darkness 30 minutes later. Oh no. Peppa, what was all that noise? Oh, here comes Mommy Pig to the rescue. Mommy Pig, go to- Oh! Yo, they just threw- Oh, Peppa! What have you done, Peppa? Meanwhile, so it seems like Peppa might have gotten possessed by those evil demonic spirits that she was contacting on the Ouija board. Oh, here's Daddy Pig. Um, uh, Mommy Pig, who turned off the lights? Who is there? Oh no. And Peppa strikes once again. Oh man, she chopped off Daddy's pig's head. How can you do such a thing? One hour later. Dude, this is getting intense pretty quick. George, where are you? Oh no, she's going after George. Oh, I just heard a gun. George, I will kill you, dude. Peppa's so demonic. Oh! <laughs> okay, so George Pig came out of nowhere. And he got a victory royale on Peppa Pig. Man, who would have known George Pig was going to clutch and get that W, man? Alright, so for the next one, we're watching Evil Pig's Resurrection. He did do like a little part 1 through 6. So all these next videos are gonna like all kind of relate to each other. So let's go. So let's go ahead and watch these. So this is Evil Pig's Resurrection. Part 1. I think there's a torch in the cellar. Okay, I'll go and get it. Will you be okay, Daddy? Oh, oh, I'll be fine. I can see He's not gonna well be fine. Oh, I just remembered. Sound I think like the he torch found is something. in the kitchen. Meanwhile, dude, why does it look so scary down there? Um, <laughs> uh, what was that? Oh! <laughs> Yo, it's like Peppa Pig demonic. Oh my god, 
They Daddy always top off that for a long head. time. Mummy, where can Daddy be? Don't worry, Peppa. Epp in the chat for Daddy really Pig. Enjoying himself to be away for so long. Oh man, looked like he has a bullet hole. Maybe they carved his eye out later that night. Oh no! Yo, Peppa, George, check your window. Dude, how did she manage to get in there? Disguising herself. Sneak 100. Daddy. Oh, psych! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. It's a bloodbath in there, as you can see. It looks like bacon. I think it was bacon, <laughs> like splattered on the window. Wow. I have no words for that, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, it's just gonna find Daddy Pig's head down there. Oh no! Hey, she did time to go check down there in the basement. Oh no! Great. Oh, don't trip over your husband's head there, dude. She's just gonna leave the head there, like no remorse or anything. To be continued. Oh, come on. All right, so that is part one. Now let's head on over and see what happens as we continue off the little series. Evil Pig's Resurrection. My God. All right, so she's down there in the basement. Dude, how big is this basement? She's been going through like so many rooms. Where do I go? Oh. Heck nah. Yeah, you're not down there by yourself. Dude, that piggy is so creepy, man. Why did why you gotta look like that though? <laughs> oh, there's a note. They never listened. A note, but oh, you're dead, dead. She's right behind mommy pig. <laughs> oh my god. Run, mommy pig. <laughs> What the heck? Who's down there? Are you okay? Dude, that does not look... <laughs> what? It was the exorcist? Oh, she woke up outside of the uh, house? I would have figured she would have been dead or something. Oh, oh my god. They left me to rot in the shed. I escaped. Alright, so I don't know what this note is referring to or anything. The shed. To be continued. Great, so now we gotta move on to part three. So we can see what they're talking about, about the shed. And that they left them to rot. We'll see what happens right now. Pretty sure we'll get some context. Oh, they, that must be the shed. This seems like the place. There's nothing in here. A note? If you find this, I will leave the key on the desk. I'll try to find my way out of here. Dude, that is one giant key. <laughs> Beware of the old woman who lives in the shed. Another note? Dude, there's an old woman that lives in the shed. What in the heck are they talking about? Holy crap. Oh no. The lights went out. Oh. Oh my god. Yo, that is terrifying, man. Oh my god, I am done. Yeah, she did the right thing. Get out of that shed. I can't see anything. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh no. Seems like she's shocked. Dude, she just dragged her. Daddy, why are you me? You are so now. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> You guys are mine now, you don't need her. 
Cause she woke up. Oh man. So it seems like she's going after mommy pig for some reason. Let's see what else is going on in this. How do I end up in a tunnel? Whatever, I just need to get out of here. Dude, it's behind you. Who the heck is that? Oh no. She's in deep trouble. I'm going back. But the ghost was back there. She didn't. Oh, but she doesn't know that. Okay, there's another note. Don't look back. Don't do it. I'm out. Yep. I would have done the same. Oh no, don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Oh, why did she. Why did she look back when I told her not to look back? People never listen, man. I gotta find my way out of here. Dude, why is the floor moving? It's like shaking. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Dude, she always keeps getting knocked out. Okay, now she's back in like some other cave. Man, I should have gone the other way. I think either regardless what other way she would have gone, she would have been dead. Okay, I can do this. Oh no. It's not looking good for you, mommy pig. Oh. Don't look back. I can't see a thing. Dude, it's way too dark. That's it, I'm looking back. Oh no. <laughs> Why does she keep looking back? The end is near. Oh, what happened? Dude, you got knocked out cold. Where even am I? She likes it. I don't even know where she's at. You guys saw that place? It was all like written all over the walls and stuff. <laughs> it don't look like you're in a good place, mommy pig. But we shall see what happens with you next. I'm tired of being held prisoner in this place. What? She on the GTA vibes, bro. She just popped out a gun. Okay, so it seems like Mommy Pig is tired of being held captive and she is finding a way out. Show yourself! Oh my god, it just passed in the background. Oh, she's hunting down Demonic Pig. Show yourself, I would never forgive you. Ready to die? I don't even know if that thing could die. What are you talking about? What? I, don't I remember? Oh, so mommy pig did something in the past. I was barely born and now it's back to haunt her. You couldn't afford your medical bills. What did you do mommy pig? You left me to rot in the basement. Why would you do such a thing? Look at the poor little baby piggy man. So cute. But it turned out to be very demonic, as we can see. And over time, you forgot about me. Dude, she just left him in the basement. I understand why it... Oh. You killed my entire family. So... Dude, the body disappeared. I don't think it's over. I told you guys it's not over. I don't think that thing could ever even die. Oh, camera out. Oh my god. I'm staying at my friend's house until this blows over. Well, I don't know if she will ever be able to escape her curse or not, but I think there's one more part. And we shall see Mommy Pig's fate. This is part six, Evil Pig's Resurrection, the house. Oh my god, that was terrible. You can stay here as long as you want. I wouldn't want her to stay in my house after being like haunted by some demonic pig. I'm going to bed. Like, nah, bro, you're gonna get me killed. I hope she didn't follow me. I'm so tired. I think she did get followed. 40 minutes later. I told you guys she got followed, man.
Let's go on. <laughs> oh. What the heck? The power went out. Oh. What is this? I've never seen this before. Oh. <laughs> So it was like the grudge or the ring to pop out of the TV. Oh, I told you guys, do not let your, your friend that is getting haunted by a ghost or demon stay over your house because you will die. What was all that noise? Oh my god, she found me. Oh, did she just jump out the window? Someone help me! <laughs> oh, she just got hit by a taxi and she blew up. Oh god, how am I alive? I have no clue. Oh! I don't think you're alive anymore. Oh, she is. Oh God, where am I? Oh, my house. A note? What does the note say? Get back in the cellar. So her past is back to haunt her. Now she's gonna place mommy pig in the cellar. Oh, play the tape. No! Peppa! That's in the chat for Peppa, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. So that's how it ended. Alright, you guys. Well, that was it of the Pep Evil Pigs Resurrection series. And I believe those are all the videos from uh, Longwood's channel. I think I've seen all of his Peppa Pig videos. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, um, Resurrection 6, it's right there. Alright, I think we have. But either way, you guys know what to do. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button and drop a comment because it really helps out the, the video itself and not only the channel so it could get recommended and all that stuff. And I will see you guys on the next one. Guys, hello and welcome to another video. So today I uh, woke up and I was going through my email and then I came across this email that said Scary Peppa from the dark web or something like that. I have no clue who sent it to me, but as we can see by the thumbnail... <laughs> I'm kind of afraid to click this thing because I don't know what in the world we're gonna like expect from this video But you know what we thugs man, we're gonna go ahead and click this and let's see what it's all about nope. Oh, let me turn it up turn it off. Here we go nope. it's, Oh I'm scared. Oh It's cartoon cat. Oh my god, Jason what piggy in the coffin meme dance? Oh, uh, what is going on? Bruh. Oh my god. Yo, that looks super weird. <laughs> what is wrong with Peppa? <laughs> this is like a cursed video or something. Oh! There's that ugly Peppa. Oh my god, Peppa Pig? What happened to Peppa Pig? She let herself go, man. Ooh. That is the ugliest Peppa Pig I've ever seen in my life. Oh, better not get near me, man. Cartoon cat again? Yo, those cartoon cat noises are so weird. Oh. Okay, so I have no idea what that was, but that was totally weird and it freaked me out. Alright, so now I'm in the mood to watch some like creepy pasta video, like some Trevor Henderson creations. So I came across this uh, cartoon cat teaser trailer 2021 unofficial by Shayen. Videos not only edited for the sake of fun and entertainment. Please do not be offended of any way if you did not like it. Man, should be pretty cool. Do you like cartoons? Why, well, I do kind of like cartoons. I used to like cartoons a lot. But I have not watched cartoons that much. Oh, really? Feels like I'm talking to the screen or something. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I know oh. how it's all gonna end. It's just a rerun. A rerun of my favorite You're gonna love episode. this one. It's a game of cat and mouse. What? You're the mouse. I'm the mouse? <laughs> and you're gonna run. He's, he's calling us a rat. Oh, shit. A rat. Wow, that is pretty offensive, man. And scream. They always scream. Oh. oh. You guys saw cartoon cat. Oh my god, alright. Dude, he's chasing us. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Better start running. 
<laughs> Yo, that was pretty dope for like a fan-made video, you know? Like a little trailer. Coming 2021. Yo, that was awesome. I feel like they should really make these Trevor Henderson creatures like some sort of horror movie or something. That would be pretty dope. All right, and for the next two videos, we're going to be watching there by Forlore. Floor? I don't know how you pronounce that, but something in between there. And this is a Siren Head one. You know Siren Head always be awesome. And this is like a real life action one. Oh, my man's living in 3025, man. Look at that. But the coronavirus is still around. Wow. Siren Head. So it seemed like he might be tracking Siren Head down or something. Oh, I thought he was about to break his ankle there. <laughs> he probably got like the iPhone 30. Oh, I heard the noise. I know you heard it, bro. Oh, he put down a Claymore? Call of Duty vibes? Man just playing Call of Duty at the same time. Oh. Wait, is he playing the siren noise? I think he's trying to bait the siren head to come out. Oh, it seems like it's working. You should not be doing that, bro. I don't know, man. You're playing some scary games right now. Trying to mess with siren head. Yo! <laughs> The siren head just popped out of nowhere. Hey, that's what he wanted. Oh, the claymore! Dude, siren head just ran through that claymore. Oh. No way he's alive, right? What in the futuristic... What is this, a robot? Is it it, guys. If you like my video, please leave a like and share hey. with your friends. Yes, like and share, guys. All right, so I was kind of confused at the ending what that robot was all about. I'm not too sure, man. If you guys know, if you guys seen it, let me know. It should definitely make a Siren Head movie brilliant horror concept. Exactly, right? Man stares at Siren Head, Siren Head, beep, 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 looks around. <laughs> That's all he really does, though. All right, so we're going to watch it. He also made a Slender Man, another real-life action one. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Dude, where is this guy at? He has like all these spooky locations, man. Dude, you guys saw Slenderman, right? I know, look, he was right there. Right before he entered. Look! Oh my god. He's just chilling right there. My boy does not, he is clueless. Oh man, this is not good, bro. Slenderman. Hey, that's a pretty cool intro. Oh, you guys see the circle in the X? Isn't that like a Slenderman thing? What? Oh! Yo, why does it look like Slenderman? Pop the squad to like poop or something. Oh, he's glitching, glitching, bro. <laughs> Heck no, I would have gotten out of there. <laughs> Yo, he just stood up and he's like 10 feet tall. <laughs> what? Oh, distraction dance. I knew it. He's dead. He's dead. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that's a cool looking Slender Man. Let's give a look at him. Look at that thing. Pretty horrific, man. Is that the end? That is the end. Yo, that was pretty dope. Let's like, snap like on that. All right, and for the next video, we're gonna be watching. It's about like the, the smile room. Since I never seen like an origin or a, a video about like what the smile room actually is, I want to check this out. And this is by Clark Teeter. All right, the this smile cool. room. Oh, with escape. Oh, dude, it's hold on, man. 
Trying to get full screen and that thing is actually opening and closing. The small one. <laughs> oh man, that is so disturbing. The, rise, the agency must be ever vigilant that people do not get caught by the small room. By our cal Who would how could you even get caught by that? Like do you not see the teeth right at the door? <laughs> Calculations: The smile room is responsible for a 20% increase in missing persons reports. 20% in increase. increase. That is a lot. The smile room is not a mundane phenomenon. It is actually a creature that somehow is able to mimic an escape room oh, man. in order to trap and consume people. It isn't bound to one location as once assumed. The first time the smile room was encountered, containment was thought to be easy. Isolate it and keep people away. Starve it to death. This starves that you. Didn't work. Okay. It was a nasty surprise to find out that the smile room can move. Once it got hungry and saw that people weren't entering it, the door closed and then faded away along with the paint advertising it, leaving a blank wall. Okay, so it seems like when the smile room starts starving and he doesn't eat people alive, he like disappears to a new location or something like that. Testing the blank wall revealed that there was no way a room could have been built there in the first place. Whoa. The smile room was discovered a few weeks later in a new city. I told you. The way the smile room would operate is that it would travel to populated areas, set itself up and open the door, revealing an ordinary room with a sign-in station. People would sign up, the door behind them would close, and they would continue deeper through the maze, where they would solve puzzles Tricky. to get to the next door and go even deeper. What the puzzle solvers don't realize is that they are walking deeper and deeper into its stomach. Yep, that's exactly what the I was about to say. Puzzles would get more and more complex until finally the person wouldn't be able to solve them. At that point, giving up is not an option. <laughs> they will have discovered that the doors they use to enter the new rooms don't open again. The smile room will then let them starve to death and digest them. Dang. Trying to damage the walls or break down the doors doesn't work. So it's indestructible from what it sounds like. They look like wood or plaster. The material is similar to that of a limpet, a creature with one of the most durable shells around. What is Attacking that? Attacking the walls or doors directly is also ineffective. A full team was lost exploring the smile room and learned this the hard way. Oh no. They had tried blowing their way out once they were unable to continue Huge forward. mistake. Once they had done enough damage to the walls, the last thing their cameras caught was the creature simply compressing the room there. Oh, there is a way so it compressed, it like tightened up everything and possibly just digested them as it, as it happened. And though, we have reports of several groups surviving and managing to leave the small room. They had remarked that the puzzles did get harder. Whoever survived that pog man, you guys are pogs. Harder, but eventually, after what felt like days, they found themselves at the reception with the door open. It is hypothesized that the survivors actually made their way through the smile room's entire digestive tract. Oh no. What they saw as the entrance to the smile room was actually an exit as well. Hey, that's an actual movie. It's like the escape movie. <laughs> I seen it. It was pretty cool. They did admit that they found themselves in another part of the city, walking through an identical looking door. What? Carefully looking revealed that yes, the smile room always has two doors manifested in a city. Two doors? One entry and one exit, oh, of course. with the exit being in an unpopulated area. It is said that if you unravel a set of human intestines, you can stretch them lengthwise Ew. down a football field. A so football field? For a creature like the smile room, its bowels may be the size of a city. It needs to be large enough to size hold all of its puzzles. City. What isn't understood is why it gives its victims a chance to escape. Each puzzle has a possible solution. There are no okay. impossible rooms. The failed mission with the team says it can just crush people. Why not just close the door once <laughs> they enter smash. and eat them? For some reason, the smile room needs to have puzzles, and the puzzles even change from visit to visit. The route to the exit is always changing, and outside of crushing people upon being attacked, it does nothing but trap people and slowly starve them. Oh, man. The best thing to do is have a guide skilled in the smile room's puzzles present to guide people through and get them out ASAP while advertising the smile room as a weekend escape room. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, smile room is crazier than what I actually imagined it to be. All right, so this thing starves you to death in there and then it consumes you as you go deeper into its uh, digestive system from what it sounded like. That's pretty crazy.
So the deeper you go in, the more you're going into his belly. And you're going to get eaten alive. Which little you know. Till you're dead. <laughs> Alright you guys, well these were some pretty cool self-made videos by all these awesome content creators. Shout out to all of them. And their cool creations. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. And if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have like a video you want me to react to, you could drop the link also. I'll check it out. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> what is up you guys? Realistic Gaming here. Today we are back with some more P.I.G.G.Y. reactions, aka Piggy, because I just can't get enough of these videos. And also guys, before we start this video, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And make sure to slap the like button, because one like equals one bacon. And we all know Piggy's weakness is bacon. <laughs> Alright, so for our first video, we're here on GV Studios channel. We're going to be reacting to Piggy Family versus Siren Head. Oh. I think they're camping. Hmm? Oh, you guys hear Siren Head? Oh, it woke up baby Piggy. No, where are you going Piggy? Your parents are sleeping. You just wandered <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, he's doing like some robot noises. Yo. Siren Head just pulled up. Hey, yo. <laughs> Devil baby piggy shocked. Oh, dude, run! It's charging right at baby. Oh! Huh? Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like it's going down, man. Oh man, Siren Head has baby piggy. Oh! Little lick to the face isn't that bad, right? Oh, savage! Dude, how did Daddy Pig get so buff? Seems like he hit the. The gem, man. He just snapped his leg, and how did he retrace it back? Like nothing happened. Oh, you got he got a little scratch there. Yo, you got a little big scratch on your face, Daddy Pig. Ooh, savage. Oh, 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 man, dude, he's beating him up pretty bad. Oh, I'm rooting for Daddy Pig. I don't know about you guys, man. Oh. Oh, right to the face. Oh, it doesn't seem like Siren is too fond of that. What? Is that all you got, Mommy Piggy? Oh, oh, never mind. She's got a little backhand to the face. Dude, he just slammed her. Oh, my God. Siren Head does not care who he has to fight, the mom, the dad, the child, the baby, it does not matter, the grandma, he will fight them all. Oh, oh, is he gonna do it? Dude, he just tore off one of his sirens, oh. And he's one of his legs too, oh my god. Yo, yo, chill out, yo, somebody tell my man to chill out, man. Oh my god, I think Siren Head took a pretty bad beating, as we can see. Oh, he's back for more! Oh! Oh! Oh, he just got yeeted. Yeet! Alright, man. I don't know. I'm telling you, Daddy Pig's gonna take this W. Is he? Dude, he just went like... X game modes, man. Oh! Like the Wolverine Slash. Oh, and Siren Hill lost. I told you guys Daddy Pig was going to take the W right there. Yo, that was a pretty close battle, man. That was pretty tough, not going to lie. <laughs> that was pretty intense. All right, so this one, the next one is called Siren Head Piggy Cartoon Cat with SCP-96. What? Huh? That sounds strange, but let's check it out. No, no. You got Piggy in the forest. Oh. What? <laughs> oh no, now she's stuck out there in the darkness. Oh, there's a house. I would not trust that house. Oh. 
Sounds like SCP. Yep, I knew it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> why are you doing this split like that? My man, are you good? Oh. Oh no. We got the shy guy. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> Looks like he's doing a dance or something. Run, piggy! Oh, he's after her. Nah, you're dead meat. Oh, siren head. Oh my god. Run, piggy, run! Dude, you cannot outrun SCP. Oh, 96. Oh. Oh! Siren head to the rescue. Yup. <laughs> what? Oh, this is not good. Oh. Just, oh. Wait. No! I thought she, I thought Siren Head was supposed to save Piggy. Oh. Oh my god, yo. Hey, SCP-96 could get pretty crazy, man. Oh, that, that must be painful. <laughs> He's just holding him and punching him. <laughs> Ooh, cartoon cat. Oh no. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, now SCP-96 is after Piggy again. Wait, so SCP could defeat Siren Head? That's pretty crazy. Oh. I give this battle to Cartoon Cat Man. What? Oh, sneak attack. Oh, Siren Head is coming back for more. He just dragged him. Hey. Alright, so they managed to save Piggy from getting eaten alive from SCP-96. Dude, that was... Those battles are crazy, man. It feels like I'm watching some anime or something. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, this one says, like, Cartoon Cat saves Piggy from Siren Head. Well, Cartoon Cat sort of saved Piggy in the previous one. Let's see what this is about. Dude, these animations are pretty awesome. Oh. She's trying to escape from Siren Head. I feel like something's gonna be there. <laughs> Is that like a little plushy? Hey. Siren Head just built different, man. Oh, he found her. Or did he? <sighs> yes, he did. Oh, he just snatched her out of there. Oh, what's up with all the licking, man? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Hey, that's kind of hurting me. Now imagine Piggy. Ew, <laughs> put your tongue away, bro. Oh. What? Think plus you just turned into Cartoon Cat. Oh, here comes the battle. Give me back my Piggy. Oh. Dude, he just, he just punched them. Oh, here comes the battle. Intensifies. Yep, this is the moment we've been waiting for. I'm calling Cartoon Cat right now. Come on, Cartoon Cat. Oh! Don't let me down, buddy. Oh, he's doing pretty good. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah! 
just headbutting him. Oh, that was a pretty, that was a pretty hard punch that he landed on him. Oh. oh man, pain, pain! I tell you. Oh. Oh man, dude, he's just slamming him. Oh my god. Yeah, it seems like Siren Head is pretty busted. Yep, and he collapsed. And it just turned back into the plushie. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a pretty, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Yo, that was pretty awesome, man. Oh, man. All right. And as you can tell, um, GB Studio has a lot of animations. As you can tell here from the thumbnails, he has a lot of uh, piggy animations, like Family Piggy, as we see here, or Siren Head, Gold, Light Head. Dude, he has like countless more animations. Well, that was pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. And drop a comment below because it really helps out the video and the channel to get recommended and all that good stuff. Alright, you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Yo, what is up, you guys? Realistic Gaming here. And today we're going to be reacting to some scary Thomas Horror videos. Because over on TikTok, they have been requesting that I uh, watch some of these scary videos. So I went on the, I went on YouTube and I tried to find the best that I could. There's not so many, but there is some, but they're like 50 minutes long. Like, dude, that's insane. <laughs> I'll probably end up like going to sleep trying to react to that. <gasps> and also shout out to the TikTok fan, man. All right, so this first one we're going to react to is called SMF FNAF Thomas the Train. And it is by Benna Max. All right, so let's uh, full screen. Make sure my volume's all the way up so we can get scared, of course. Why did it go off full screen? All right, there you go. All right, and here we go. Oh, it's like FNAF 4, right? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> was I supposed to get scared of that? Dude, that was a weak jump scare. <laughs> they kind of sound like Shrek scream though in a way. I don't know. Let's hear that one once again, that scream. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that was so random, man. <laughs> wow, okay. And so for our next video, the four next clips we're going to react to, it. they're all by uh, Tom Cobbin. And as we can see, this looks pretty horrifying already. So let's go ahead and... Uh, See what goes on here. Dude, what in the world is going on? <laughs> this is so terrifying. Look at Thomas. Oh my god. I think it's so hideous. As we can clearly see, Thomas, it looks like Thomas can clearly catch up to him at any given moment. But it seems like he just wants to torture the guy. Like he just wants him to be so afraid. Like Thomas is feeding off his, so like, like off the guy's fear or something. And that might be the most terrifying creature I've seen. Thomas the train exe do be hitting different though. <gasps> Probably gonna have some nightmares tonight. <laughs> and rest in peace to the childhoods watching this video. Right, so we got, oh, we got another one with this scary, creepy Thomas spider looking thing, whatever it is. Oh man, and also if you guys have any other recommendations on creepy pastas or anything, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I will check them out if they're awesome. Okay, it was time for Thomas to leave, for he had consumed everything. Yo, this is so weird. Dude, this is like the spider that you tell your mother that there's a spider in the room, like in the corner, and you're afraid to kill it. <laughs> oh my god, hey. Thomas do be looking thick though. Alright, thick Thomas. Chunky Thomas. Thomas got that dump trunk. Alright, whatever man, that thing was terrifying. And I don't know if I will ever see Thomas the same after watching these videos. <laughs> oh man. Alright, and this one is called Thomas Son of Shaobun 2.0. Oh, it's Mr. Top Hat. Oh my god. Yo, that is not normal, man. 
<laughs> what the freak is going on? I'm a little terrified for that fella. Dude, he just ate him alive. No regrets, said Thomas. He just said, I'm gonna eat this man's, I don't care. I'm gonna end his career right here at this exact moment. <laughs> All right, and then for the next one, also by Thomas Coben, it's called Thomas the Nightmare Engine. Oh, man. Oh! Dude, how, how, how do you even think of this? <laughs> it's so disturbing. <laughs> Look at this. Oh! <laughs> I don't know, man. These creations of Thomas the Train are something else. I would never imagine they would be so, uh, so disturbing. <laughs> they are pretty disturbing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Right, and as for this one now, uh, this is a short story animation by Mr. Meat Canyon. If you don't know who Mr. Meat Canyon is and you like scary stories and all that, man, you're missing out because this guy gets down with his creations. As we will see. What? Rat? Rat emoji? <laughs> What? Okay, whatever. So let's go ahead and jump into this uh, animation called Railroad by Mr. Meat Canyon. Oh, we got a Lightning McQueen and Tomater. So it's like a crossover. That's I always forgot cool. how beautiful it can be up here at night. You sure is right about that, Lightning McQueen. All right, before we get more into this, I always liked how Mater was always there for Lightning McQueen. Like, he's the best friend that everybody wishes they have. Because he's always like, plus, he always would like one ups uh, Lightning McQueen no matter what. He always has his back. Sometimes it feels like we're the only two people in the world that know about this spot. Funny you should say that. Because I saw a train on my way up here today. A train? Well, That's trains are pretty be common Thomas. around these parts. I mean, there's tracks everywhere. Well, it was downright strange. Was it like no train I never seen before? Oh. Ready for a treat? Was it blue? Like a mystical blue, almost as if the train had become one with the air around it. <laughs> oh, oh, yes! God, How do you describe it? I couldn't have said it any better myself, Lightning. Man, that's exactly what it looked like. When I had that wreck a while back. Oh boy, I remember. Wait, it we looks like Lightning McQueen has uh, make it out alive. That's pretty has weird. Has probably came across uh, this Thomas the Train. When I had the wreck, I, I had such an odd dream. Oh. Okay, things are about to get real, it's man. A strange feeling. It was a place I've never seen before. I felt as if I'd spent a lifetime there. <laughs> I was just waiting for him to come out of that tunnel. Much from the normal world was the sound of a train coming my way. Dude, look at the mist and everything. I felt fear more than anything. It felt Though fear. It was the sound of a train. It felt like a thunderstorm. Like an earthquake was going to destroy the ground around me. Come on, show him already! All I could do was anxiously hold my breath and brace for impact. But the impact never came. Oh, well. oh my god! Instead, a smiling face appeared. Dude, he's so hideous. Pale and cold, screeched forward on its tracks, only to stop right in front of me. Oh! Oh my God! How is he doing I've that with his neck? I've never spoken a single word in my life. I, I couldn't conjure a single sentence to say to him. It's like beautiful and hideous at the same time. But the train finally spoke, and I can still hear his voice in my mind. Dude, that stare in his eyes. I have seen past the farthest star. of the earth I can take you there if you so choose I would be so terrified I can give you all the things you never knew you wanted taste from the tallest chalice dine at the largest halls 
So is Thomas like this angel or something? Can return. It is your soul. Your soul for a chance at a life without pain. Without heartache. Okay, this is weird. It's like he's supposed to be looking at Lightning McQueen, but he's clearly like staring right at us. Just for your soul. Don't do it, Lightning McQueen. I asked back to him. What of life after death? What of the like paradises that await me in heaven above? The train did not look to me. It didn't make a single sound. Dude, I would have gotten Through the heck the out of there. And moving parts controlling this demonic vessel, its only reply was Drain you wolves. Your gods turned us back on you. That's why my tracks still push me forward. Why is Tyre so like this? My body was afraid. Something new and unknown. May it be death? May it be hardship. Hardship. I woke from this nightmare. Wow. I tell you what, that's downright horrifying. Well, that is quite horrifying. Haven't really slept well since then. Oh, come on, Lightning. It's just a train. Nothing to be afraid of out here. <laughs> Dude, did you see that train, Mater? I know you're right. I don't think you did. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yo! Now. <laughs> Oh, he just popped out at the end. That was super creepy. All right, so now um, I don't know what to think about uh, Thomas the Train. As before, knowing who he was and after seeing these videos, he is uh, another person. And as they portrayed him to be very ugly and disturbing looking. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I'm about to end the video here because my battery's about to die. Ooh. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on and hit all notifications so you won't miss a video or when I go live and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.